Hello everyone. Today I'm going to be doing some performance tests on the Mac Mini that we put an SSD in in one of the last videos. Now, uh, before we begin, uh, this is the Power Mac G4. You can tell by the way it's fucking noisy. Um, I'm going to be showing you what I've been doing with the Power Mac, oh, well, the Mac Mini. As you can see, hopefully see, I did focus it, okay. As you can see, I am running a sort of Tamagotchi simulation network. It's called Tamahive, and basically what it does is it, well, it simulates a bunch of Tamagotchis, or emulates them, and there's an AI built in which takes care of them and keeps them all happy and requires absolutely no upkeep from the owner, so I'm just running this on the Mac Mini, and it's working quite well so far. However, I did take the SSD out and I replaced it with a 320 gigabyte hard disk because I thought I was going to be using the Mac Mini as a sort of all-in-one server and then I built my NAS and that kind of <laughs> defeated the purpose. Now it's moving very slowly. That's because this computer that is trying to view it is a 466 megahertz processor. Let's see if Safari fares any better. I doubt it. I'm just... I. I don't know. It'll be nice to see some actual performance on the Mac Mini. No, I don't care. Okay, 10, 4, 6, 4, 8, 7. This should work better, because it's it's not... It, it's, it's JavaScript, so it shouldn't be too laggy, although 10.4 Fox didn't quite like it, and uh, Safari's just complete... Okay, I thought completely froze. Actually, it's not uh, not handling this too well. <laughs> I really should have gotten a better machine to demonstrate this on. Holy crap. Like seriously. Uh, 466 megahertz. I thought... Uh, I don't know. Oh, it's kind of... Well, I can, I can do stuff... It's kind of weird. I can do stuff here and it's like perfectly fine. But then again, Finder isn't that performance intensive. So what have we got? We've got a completely uh, <laughs> completely maxed out processor, so that's 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 great. Perfect. Okay. I probably would have gotten better performance if I did this on Mac OS 9, but I'm not ready to do that. And that's not the point of this video. I just want to show what the Mac Mini was being used for and well what it was being used for before we started using it for some performance testing. So let me go and shut down this noisy thing and actually go get the Mac Mini as we have an SSD to put in it again. Hey, at least it's quick to shut down. Alright, and we're ready for disassembly. And uh Hope you guys are proud of me. I got me a nice anti-static piece of plastic from this IKEA storage container here. So, uh, no carpet. Sorry to disappoint you guys. <laughs> so, uh, this computer is going to require a little bit of effort to open without breaking shit. Oh my god, ten years of coaxing later. I got it. Alright. So here we're taking another look at the inside of the Mac, oh, whoa, oh, that's hot, okay. Um, <laughs> at the inside of the Mac Mini G4, as you can see, uh, nothing's really changed other than I forgot to screw this back down and uh, I'm on an anti-static mat now, totally. So let's, let's get my, my screwdriver, I didn't put my screwdriver. I didn't grab my screwdriver, god damn it. Don't forget your screwdriver. Alright, so now we can begin disassembly. Just like usual, we just have to uh, zoom in here. Look at that, zooming. Like, almost like I'm a proper uh, iFixit dude of some kind. No, I'm totally not. So we can probably just like pull that. Okay, that's, that works. I didn't break anything this time. 
Tune in next week. All right. Once again, we have the uh, this little cable up here. You can't see it, but it's uh, it's very important. If you, I believe, if you break it or don't plug it in, it will get very, very sad, and the Mac Mini will think it's uh, always hot. At least that's how it works with the old Power Mac stuff when your temperatures were temperature sensors were disrupted it would just go into full fucking throttle so here we have our very delicate cable and with that out of the way and all this other stuff out of the way we get a look at the internals of the Mac Mini which are familiar if you watch my other video there's some RAM I don't have any more RAM to put in there um, I'm trying to save the RAM for a special project coming soon so we'll set this aside and move on to this assembly which has the hard disk which I think is a 320 gigabyte if I'm not mistaken uh, looks like I only bothered to put in uh, two screws I don't know why uh, well let's get to removing them it makes it easier for me at least I don't know where the other screws are Oh, they're on the sides, derp. Uh, I'm good at Apple products, I swear. Okay, so, sorry for the awkward lighting. Uh, oh, wow, that was easy. Oh, that was almost too easy, damn. So we have a hard disk, which is... Uh, it's a... What is this? It's a 320 gigabyte... Hard disk from Hitachi, I guess. Uh, yeah, a little confirmation. 320G, so we're we're going to be saving that. That has all my Tamagotchi data on it, and I would be devastated if I lost it, so I'll store it someplace safe while we're doing this video. In the meanwhile, we have an SSD to install, and, uh, and I think that will wait now. So let's say that was pretty easy. Uh, unfortunately, I completely missed the SATA connector with the SSD. Oh god, there's a cable in the way. What the f... Why? Okay, got it. So that's a, uh, that's a very non-focused SSD. That's a very, uh, you can't see it SSD, but there is an SSD there, I swear. <laughs> So now we gotta put some screws in and uh, get to installing the operating systems. Now, I don't know if I already mentioned it, I probably didn't and I'm just, I have short term memory loss. But um, I'm going to be trying to install two operating systems. Well, I am going to be installing two operating systems. Man, the lighting is terrible in here. Um, the first operating system is Mac OS 10. Six Snow Leopard because this computer I think came out at around the same time or well close enough to Snow Leopard that it's still probably the main operating system this computer is meant to run but there's a catch I don't know if Steam works with Snow Leopard if it doesn't we'll go to Lion and uh, endure the terrible performance we're bound to get like seriously if you saw the last video it was terrible but I did pick out some 3d games cuz I'm genocidal anyway so when I'm the problem with installing Windows 7 is none of my DVDs for Windows 7 work with uh, booting the Mac mini they just go to set CD-ROM boot type, I think, and uh, nothing happens. You can just smash keys on the keyboard all day, won't make a difference. So, as a workaround, we're going to have to go to Windows XP, and then Windows Vista, and then Windows 7. Through the whole upgrade procedure, which is very, very, very uh, sketchy. And uh, I know you can't see what I'm doing. I'm just plugging this cable back in real quick so that uh, I don't screw it up and end up killing the Mac Mini. Alright, now mostly everything is 
assembled. I just need the spring for the Wi-Fi antenna. I kept calling it a Wi-Fi card in the previous video because I'm... I don't know. Uh, eh. Oh, eh. Oh, there we go. And it snaps, letting you know that it's secure and whatnot. And we can put the cover back on. Look at that. That was so easy. And it actually sits fairly flush, unlike the Mac Mini G4. <laughs> so now, I get this thing hooked up to uh, this, and then... Uh, yeah, we'll start installing Mac and then Windows. Alright, so right now I'm just getting most of the stuff for the uh, Mac Mini plugged in and ready to go. So all we have to do is power it on, power it on and uh, install Mac and then install Windows. And we'll run some games. Now, uh, I think we're ready to go. Um, I don't have the power supply. That could be a bit of a problem. In fact, yes, that is a problem, obviously. Let me go get that. I was about to say, there's not that many cables coming off this, and uh, that would be why. So, uh, plug that into the power, not the Ethernet port, hopefully. No, that's a USB port, no wonder. I know my computers, guys. Oh god, it's booting. No, stop, don't do that. We're not ready. Alright. At least... We're not ready until I get a keyboard and a mouse up, and I plug this in, which has Snow Leopard on it. So we have something to boot from and install from. Because I don't think it's going to boot off that SSD. There is a copy of Windows 7. If it does boot to it, I will be surprised, but I will ultimately be removing it anyway, so it doesn't really matter if there is some kind of operating system already on it. Oh geez. Got my nice uh, clicky keyboard and my super efficient uh, wire. Alright, are we ready to go? I think we're ready to go. Let's hit the power button. And hold the option key so we get some kind of boot prompt. Oh wow, that was quick. Oh wow, there's a Windows partition. Uh, I'm curious now, will it actually boot to it? <laughs> if can, can I resize it to like fit both Mac and Windows on the drive at once? Probably not. It probably doesn't work like that. There's glare. What is this? Your system memory configure... okay. So we're restarting Windows. Whatever I had open is gone. That's fine. And as expected, it blue screened. So, I didn't hold the option key early enough. Fuck! Oh, nope, we're good. <coughs> so now, let's instead boot to the Mac OS X install DVD. And adjust around the tripod, because holy shit. And I might turn off the light too, just so there's a little bit less interfering glare which makes it a little bit difficult to film and kind of hard to see and it means the light bulb won't be producing heat so that's a bonus I'm trying to adjust the tripod here so it's not shitty where did I put my water bubble? that's over here I'm losing shit already so now we're just booting into the uh, Mac OS 10 setup. This time it's actually the install DVD, not the CPU drop-in DVD. Oh wow, okay. So here we are. That was quick. Man, that's that's smooth. It's, that almost seems more smooth than it was online, although I'm not surprised, because this is actually meant to be installed on something like this. Okay, Mac OS 10 can't be installed on a disk with the Windows NT file system format. Now I have a backup of this drive, so I'm feeling alright with formatting it, making sure I'm formatting not this, and 
can't format that, obviously. So we'll do... We could save time and do the boot camp partition already. And make it two. Then this is macOS extended. This would be just free space. Yeah, actually that, that would probably work well. So we'll go ahead and do OS X <clears throat> and make sure we're on Ah, this is a problem. So let's put this on GYD and click on apply and click on partition. So now we're partitioning the SSD, which should be instant or near instant. Well, Susan Fish is unmounting the disc. There we go. Now, that was quick. That was very quick. I'm pleasantly surprised. Alright, so now we can select OS 10, customize. What do we got? Printer support. Uh, we don't really have any printers. I mean, I do, but I don't want to use them with this system. Additional fonts that. Mm, Shouldn't really, I don't really need it, but I'll take it. Rosetta, hell yeah. <laughs> and QuickTime, why not? So we may be slightly overbloating this install, but I think I can clean it up if there are some uh, unnecessary components and we don't have enough room for important things. There's the Wi Fi networks. I have a special Wi-Fi network which this will be running on, which is actually quite fast. I got some new wired internet, so I'm no longer working over Wi-Fi, which is a bonus. This is also going to take years. So question is, can I actually take this LCD, flip it out, and close it? Perfect. And everything is still framed up. I'm saving battery, saving the environment. have a whole lot else to talk about so uh, may as well talk about the games I'm going to be trying on this. Um, the first one is Team Fortress 2 and I'm not too confident in that working. Minecraft that might work kind of. Uh, CSGO probably will not run. Undertale it could. Um, Freedom Planet runs pretty well on this anyway. Sonic CD will not run under Mac, so we'll try that out on Windows and see how that works. And Cave Story Plus, I'll be comparing all of these, their Mac and Windows performing capabilities, uh, and we'll see. Um, 22 minutes, I actually believe it.
is we have about eight minutes left, but we're coming to our first, uh, or, or our, our last, oh, okay, so that's, that's that, I guess, okay, sure thing, oh god, that was, oh, that's just the camera view. I certainly hope you could you could hear that over me. That was the classic uh, "Welcome to Mac, Mac" sort of uh, thing. Actually, some weird things. Uh, different network setup. My computer does not connect to the internet. It is an offline forever computer. So now I have to set up my account. I actually decided not to enter a password because I don't really need one. Yeah, I don't need a password hint if I don't have a password. What the fu- Uh... Sure. We'll use that. Don't forget to register. Yeah. Totally want to register this product. Oh shit. Alright, so now we're in Mac and everything looks dark because I, uh... Auto adjusted it to the wrong thing. Actually, maybe Mac just looks that dark in general. I I can't tell. I'm going to turn up the uh, background so it's at least somewhat visible. Well, it, it'll look a bit better at least. I think, in my opinion. So we'll use uh, just stick with some of the classic back. Oh, here we go. Perfect! The Power Mac G4 is sitting right underneath it. So, uh... What do we do now? Do we install Steam and... get some games up and running? Or install Windows in the other partition and... then get the games running? It really doesn't matter what order we do it in. Why is this being... weird? Alright, that'll work. Okay, there we go. So that's slightly brighter, it's better, easier to see, and uh, look how smooth that is. Look how smooth that is, damn. I knew we picked a winner. Alright, what I actually want to do real quick first, before we get all uh, situated with our Windows installation, is make sure the Mac installation will actually work and we can run Steam on it, because if we can't, we're going to have to upgrade, and I'm not going to be very happy about that. So uh, let me get signed into the network, and we'll go from there. Alright, I think we're signed into the network. Yep, four bars. Yeah, had to confirm that to make sure I wasn't blind. Alright, I got fast Safari loaded, damn. Oh god. Trying to load Apple.com on an outdated Safari, and I just realized we can't get. Uh... Okay, so let's get Steam. I just realized I can't do that either. I need to reinstall the Steam app on my. God damn it! Okay, hold up. I reflashed my phone, so I'm gonna need to. This 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 doesn't look good, like at all. <laughs> It's not supposed to be one uniform color, I'm pretty sure. I don't know why that is. Oh, okay, so, agree. Verifying the disk image, mounting the disk image. 
Oh, there's our confirmation. We're in good tip. We're... Oh, wait. Damn it. Fuck. So do I have to, like... What? Open. Because the original... What? Wait, what? Applications is right... Okay, so can I just drag it down there? Ugh. Okay, there we go. It's installed somewhere. Right here. Steam is not be downloaded from the internet. Are you sure? Steam cannot be opened because of a problem. Check with the developer to make sure Steam works with this version of Mac OS X. You may need to reinstall the application. Be sure to install any available updates for the application of Mac OS X. God damn it, I thought I... I thought I slid by with this... Shit. So, what I can try doing is, uh... Is this native resolution? Yeah, it is. Huh. Looks uh, smaller or bigger than usual. So what I can try doing is running software update, but I think we all know what has to happen, uh, and I'm not happy about it. But is it what? Because I mean, it's it's right here. If I run it from here, will it, no? Can I can I get some more information like a crash log? Wait, logs. Logs. Console. I forgot about this. Mac has this. Uh, fuck. What is this? Um, okay, so we'll go for Steam. Library not load. Okay, I see. So it didn't load the library. Saved crash report because it couldn't find this library, which probably doesn't exist. So, oh, holy shit, look at this, iLife support, whoa, provide system software resources that are shared by iLife and other applications, oh sweet, we're getting iLife on this thing, and 10.6a, oh god, that's 1.09 gigabytes, but you know what, that would give me time to dump the footage off the camera, and why, why, why is this uncheck markable, why, god damn it, okay. Well, anyway, we'll go and enhance the Mac App Store to get your Mac ready to upgrade to Mac OS X Lion. I don't want to do that. Uh, okay, well, we'll do it anyway. We're not going to upgrade if we don't have to. So while this is downloading and taking nine years, let's actually try Minecraft, because I'm not actually sure of the... Uh, uh, uh. Oh no, it's a Minecraft.net shit. Ah, oh, crap. Uh, what the fuck? What is this? Whoa, what the fuck? Is. What? Wait a minute. Is this actually like. Wait a minute. What? This is like an actual company called Minecraft. Wow, I. Okay. Leaders in mining, mechanical, electrical, geotechnical, and coal handling, engineering, business analysis, project management, project support, technical services, and safety systems for Australian and international coal mines. Really? I... I didn't know this was a thing. I thought... Oh my god. It goes all the way back to 2001, in 1993 is pretty much AMCS, and then it turned into Minecraft. Well, that's entertaining. Wow. I wonder how many people, how many calls they've gotten about, uh, hey, are you that game that everybody plays nowadays, that nobody plays nowadays except the YouTubers, and even they've abandoned it? I kind of feel bad for them. They probably get a lot of calls about that, and uh, they're just trying to run a serious business helping out people mining shit in places. Uh, loading store. That doesn't seem very reassuring. Are we actually updating right now? Oh, wow. The ETA is eight minutes. I think that will be exactly enough time for me to dump the footage off my camera and... 
give the battery a top off and we get to find my Windows installation disks. So this is perfect. So after the jump we will be on 1068 hopefully or close uh, and yeah things 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 are happening stuff is happening I'll have steam ready everything will be ready and then we'll move on to Windows get that set up and we'll start some benchmarks so until then okay so I've kind of been letting this thing sit and do its thing for it's been about 30 minutes I'd say let's see how it's doing To install the updates, you must restart your computer. Okay. Easy enough. While we're here, let me fix the focus. I changed the battery on the camera, and I cleaned out the SD card, so all's good. Let's uh, keep the focus good. Writing files. should be fairly fast because it's on an SSD and uh, it's got a 1.8 gigahertz processor dual core so I don't think it's gonna take that long moving. It did indeed move past my cursor. That's a good sign. And I think we're nearing completion. Yes! Now we're restarting. And the Mac Mini is making a very strange sound. Uh, not that sound, that's just the apple time. <laughs> okay, and we're booted, and uh, I'm booted. Okay, now we are on. 10.6.8 much better uh, this is not native resolution I can tell you that right now I can also run it at 75 Hertz if that helps with the camera at all probably doesn't it's probably gonna fuck it up oh whoa okay we're good it's all good and uh, it doesn't look a whole lot different except uh, yeah, it doesn't look a lot different actually <laughs> So let's go ahead and run Steam and hope it works. Damn it, no. Uh, <laughs> we are going to have to install Lion. Oh, if we're going to install Lion, let's try and do it through this. Because I think this might work. 
Uh, Maco Sierra. Oof. Yeah. I definitely want Lion. Not, I, don't, I don't think Sierra even runs on here or walks on here. Crawls. Oh god. So it's. This is the problem. It's not available. So we're going to have to get it from the internet. Oh, but that's right. Firefox doesn't work on this version of Mac anymore. So we're going to have to use Safari. Firefox, I... I, I could run an older version. Actually, yeah, let's do that. Old oh, that's Come. Probably gonna have to navigate over to their Mac section. Yep, Macintosh, sorry. How dare I abuse the name? Alright. So this version 37.0.2 is compatible with 10.6, 10.7, 10.8. Okay, it's old. It's an old version, I don't care. It, it's. It's probably insecure, but it's better than using Safari, so I'm sold. Plus, I'm not really concerned about security, because it's it's not going to have any personal data on it, just my Steam library. And uh, my Steam is under two-factor two, two authentication. That was way more difficult to remember than I should have been. Uh, can we do anything while we're waiting? Did I not try to download Minecraft? Oh, right, because because uh, Safari couldn't handle it, so we're gonna have to do it with uh, Firefox. I wonder if there's anything else we can update or install to make this any better. Because I I really don't want to install Lion on this thing. It ran terrible last time it was installed, and it's quite the traumatic experience. I don't want to deal with that. What do we have? Show details. Oh my god. Oh, but these are just security updates, not actual, like... Ugh, damn it. I mean, there's an update for Safari. That's kind of nice, but uh, at the same time, completely useless because we're using Firefox, which is right here. And it works a hell of a lot better. So let's just... Something's wrong with the contrast, or... I don't know. Uh, displays... Color... Display... <laughs> okay, that's all we have, so that's nice. Wait, is it done? I, I think it's done. Okay. It didn't uh, give a very... Good indication. Okay, so right here it is. Can inject this disk image now that we're not using it. We can actually unplug this flash drive and oh, okay, yeah, open. Yes, I know it. Yes, I know I didn't eject it properly. Ooh, yes. Use Firefox as my default browser. So here we go. We actually have the proper internet. So let's go. Hmm. Actually, hold that thought. I have an idea. Let's go log into the Yoshinas. Probably not gonna work because I don't know what the login is. It's one of two things. I don't. Rem okay, detour that did not come as much of a surprise to me. I don't have a copy of Mac, so I'm gonna have to download one. But I do own a legitimate Mac, so that makes things... Oh, wait, unless it's one of these. Is it this? Please tell me. It is. Come on. Damn it. No mountable file systems. What about this? Uh, not recognized. Fuck. I think that's pretty much all I have for Mac stuff. I, I... Damn it. Alright, so we're gonna have to go with plan B, which is downloading something. Legally, of course, because I do have a Mac, and uh, I have a copy of Snow Leopard 
totally. I, <laughs> so we're going to go ahead and get us a copy of Transmission. There it is. Easy. Easy. Okay. So download for... Ah, uh, fuck, that's 10.7. Can I go earlier? I mean, I could try it, but it's probably going to fail magnificently. Okay, here we go. 2.84, but wait a minute, what was that caution? Hold up. 2.92, okay, I don't have to worry about it. <laughs> We're good, it doesn't concern me at all. Okay, so we got... I think it mounted, did it mount? Yep, mounted, right here. Drag it into the applications, easy. Let's turn the volume up so you can actually hear this very quiet speaker. I don't even know where it is. It's just uh, somewhere in the case. Uh, actually, uh, it's in the front, which is face down, so that probably explains a lot. But I'm not that concerned about it right now. Let's go ahead and... Your heart in a detail, being a pirate is a to Do what you want, because a pirate is free. You are a uh, we still have the Mac OS 10 install CD. What is going on here? Welcome to Mac OS. Is this, uh, what version of Mac is this? It, uh... I can't use this version of this. Okay, so this is... Oh, this is still the 10 point... Wait. Wait, did it actually mount it? Hold up. I think it actually mounted it. Whoa. Okay, interesting. Can I look at this? Show package contents. We need to go deeper. Oh. English. Oh. It's just a bunch of useless stuff. Eh. Let's go for. Actually, we could go system, library, core services poke around in here a little bit. Uh, There's actually not a whole lot in here, probably because this is the setup disk. But we can poke around our own startup disk too, which is often fun to do. So let's see what we got in here. Look at all these goodies. Look, there's the default desktop background and if you were to replace this file, this would show up on your login screen if you're not using Lion or one of those, I think. So we can actually go into the finder from here. Here it is. And we can show package contents and take a look at some of the icons that come with it. Actually, that's not the one with all the icons. I don't remember which one it is. It's one of these. I. Uh, it's. Uh, seriously, I thought it was in here. Oh, can't knock it over my water. Is it part of this? Maybe? Show package contents. Contents. Resources. Here's some uh, iCloud icons, if you wanted to use that for your backup drive or something like that, that'd be actually pretty cool. Core types? Oh, it's in here, I think. I'm pretty confident it's in here. And by the way, this is going, so we're, we're going. Oh wow, look at that. It's a classic Apple logo icon and folder. Holy shit. I didn't know this was in here. Holy crap. So is this for like classic Mac? Wow. That's fucking retro as shit. Make the Power Mac G4 proud. Color sync uh, classic icon. And uh, God, they have a lot of products. This isn't. This even has the new Mac Minis. Actually, that's a Mac Mini server. This is a new Mac Mini. That's another Mac Mini server, and this is 
more along the lines of what I have, this uh, Mac Mini here. Give you some nice high-res images of these Mac Macs. This is, I, I really want one of these, but they're so fucking expensive that, nah. Uh, hey look, Power Mac G4. I should steal these icons for my Power Mac G4. I mean, it is right there. It's just a firewire cable away. Got some uh, air disc icons for your air discs. I guess I could I could use that for the free nest. I didn't know all these classic icons were in here, and this is probably one of my favorites. And uh, it's just a blue screen of death. <laughs> and uh, in case you didn't notice all the Windows computers in the sidebar, except for this printer for whatever reason, are using the uh, blue screen of death icon. That's a nice little touch, Apple. It's kind of their own personal touch to it. Oh god, I clicked on everything. Okay. Yeah, there's a lot of icons in here. Holy crap. I expected like classic Mac OS 9 icons in here to be honest. Considering all the other stuff we have in here like uh, could get a classic trash can and some other cool stuff, but uh, unfortunately that's all we got. Which is not a big deal. So this is gonna take a while and uh, I'm actually curious, the camera says it's 64C, how hot is that? I mean, that is pretty hot, but I don't know, uh, 147, it's a little bit on the high end, but it's, it's, that's actually the, I think the core temperature of the camera, so it's probably fine. Probably. This is a weird icon, I never saw that before. It's like some kind of weird, uh, optical illusion-y thing. And this is file vaults. Yeah, lots of cool little things in here. Oh, that's cute. <laughs> and you got extension icon. Wow. I, I do not explore the system folder enough on older computers like this. I should. I probably should. Probably find a gold mine on the Power Mac G4's copy of Mac OS X4. But uh, for right now, we've got a bigger task on hand. Download faster. Uh, what? There's no module file player. God damn it! Now I gotta get one of those. Not Yahoo. Come on. I would literally be just as good off using Bing. You'll see. Okay, I'll play it. Why didn't I think of that? That works so well. Oh, there it downloads it like. Uh, Almost halfway through, kind of 39%, 40%, actually. 37.75%, or it was. Uh, do it. Thank you. And I'll close that before the advertisements take over my, my machine. Uh, yeah, that was quick. Damn. Oh, it's not recognized because it's not finished downloading yet. Um, don't know what else to do. Guess we could look at chess and see if that works any better. Uh, maybe. Let's 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 start a new game here. I'll go. Uh... Pawn D7 to D5. Okay. to F6. Hmm. Not liking this. Pawn E seven twenty six. Bishop F eight to C five. Knight B H to C six. Bishop C five takes D four. What? What? You can't do that, bastard! 
Shit. Uh, can this go like that? Oh, fuck. That didn't do what I thought it did. Okay, can I do that? No. Fuck. Uh, shit. I like to pretend I know more about how to play chess, but I really don't. <laughs> uh, no thanks. And we're good. So now, have some epic music while we uh, wait. Well, I'm fucked. Oh, I just remembered. Mac OS X has graphs, I think. Let's uh, do. Ooh. Let's do some. Oh god. Oh god. This... No. Fuck that. Uh. Huh. It was this program, wasn't it? This is a mind fuck all on its own. It's actually uh, pretty complex. This just looks cool. Never actually seen the uh, graphs on Mac OS X before. I mean, I have, but not like on my own. Holy shit. Whoa, can I go inside there? No, I can't zoom. Oh, yes, I can. Bitch. Oh, it doesn't do anything. Oh, whoa. Oh, 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 okay. Holy shit, that. It did not like that. Nope, I'm good. Still handling this one really well. And the music and the download, so we are all good. Ooh. Oh, Jesus. Oh, we're inside it. Oh, Jesus. The fuck? Oh, God. Yeah. No more of the psychedelic trips, please. For reference of how long that took, 8 minute, 25 second track, and we still have 5 minutes left. So I'm either going to loop this or I'll actually find something off of the Yoshi Nas to listen to. You know, I make you bet if we had started with Lion, we would already be done with Windows and running tests. But no, I had to go the Snow Leopard way, because I thought it would be better. That was a really weak speaker. Damn. Down into the pit of shame with you. What else have we got? Oh, it still plays in the background. And this is still running. I forgot how Mac even works. Let's have a look around. Are we done yet? Oh, we're 26. Okay, never mind. 
we're 26 seconds away from install finish or download finish. I'm hoping I don't have to put it on the 64 gigabyte flash drive, which is slower than a freaking IDE hard disk. If that's what I have to do, that's what I have to do, but I don't want to. <laughs> it's so slow. Alright, so we're done. It dinged. It put it in the documents folder. I don't know why. Help me. Okay. So in here we have install macOS 10 Lion. Continue. Agree. I agree. It will be installed on OS 10. Yeah, I didn't hit the password. Okay. So I don't know how the hell this is gonna work, but uh, we're installing Lion somehow. Like seriously, how the hell is this gonna work? It's installing off of a disk image. Is it like copying it to? Oh, it's co oh I know what it's doing. It has I think uh, I don't know. Ah, here we go. Mac OS 10 install data. I don't know if you could see that. You probably can, but I'll zoom in anyway. And also fix the focus while I'm here. Not that way. Uh, that's about as good as I can get it. Mac OS install data. Uh, oh, Jesus. That's a lot of uh, stuff. We are definitely doing an upgrade, so not surprised. So this will take a very, very long time. Actually, only about three minutes. It's being very quick. So, but considering it's uh, 4.07 a.m., uh, this is most likely going to become a two-parter because I don't have all night to do this. I mean, I technically do, but I don't want to spend all night doing it, not particularly. Oh, screw that. Let's restart. I haven't. Let's. Oh, Jesus. Don't oh, hit the tripod. Restart. Your computer is restarting. Well, no shit. Well, actually, I don't know yet. It doesn't appear to be. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> Suddenly got very dark. Ew, that didn't look good. Okay, so is this going to give me a boot prompt like it does on Hackintosh, or what is it going to do? I have no clue how this works. Never done it before. Ah, uh, my eyes. Here, let's add to the brightness and confusion. Ah, uh, oh, that actually didn't affect it much. Uh, I was really expecting that to have more of an impact, but it really didn't. Jeez, that is my ambient lighting. <laughs> Just duct tape it up to the ceiling and bam. So it says it's going to take 33 minutes. I hope that's not the, actually the case, but it probably is. Uh, this would be a great time to swap out the battery and card and let the camera cool down because it's getting toasty around 64 Celsius or... Uh, 151 Fahrenheit, I want to say, but that's definitely not right because I didn't put any math into it. Well, I'll see you in uh, half an hour.